I'm Dr. Steve Lipson. I'm the urologist at UP Health System Portage. I'm originally a native of uh, Massachusetts, uh, approximately half an hour north of Boston. Uh, I grew up in a small town very similar to Hancock and, and Houghton. My wife and I uh, uh, like small towns, and uh, we have actually were exposed to the Upper Peninsula approximately seven or eight years ago. Fell in love with the area because of its natural beauty and, and what we perceived as very genuine, hardworking, uh, salt-of-the-earth uh, people who live in this area. And we have not regretted the, the move one single bit. Yes, as a urologist, I specialize in disorders that involve the genitourinary system. We treat uh, children as well as uh, men and, and women. The way I approach of really anything in medicine is to try to make the patient as comfortable as possible. Uh, most of what we do in urology uh, is embarrassing. Uh, patients have to shed some of their clothes for, for some of their examinations. We discuss issues that can be uh, embarrassing to people, such as erectile dysfunction in men or incontinence, for example, in women. Uh, I try to reassure people that they're not in the boat by themselves, that this is a, these are very common problems. And I found over the, the, the years that people are more open about discussing these problems than they used to be. So my approach is to, to try to make people as comfortable as possible. We're fortunate that we have an excellent staff of nurses, and uh, they, they do a lot in terms of uh, making the patient's experience uh, uh, more comfortable. The things that are, are most prevalent these days are incontinence issues in women, uh, urinating problems in men who have enlarged prostates, uh, kidney stones, this is kidney stone season, believe it or not, spring and summer, and uh, rectal dysfunction. Incontinence is a lack of uh, bladder control, which is an extremely uh, common problem that we see in both men and women. It's been estimated that about 50% of women have some degree of incontinence. And uh, we're fortunate uh, insofar as we can do a lot of evaluation and uh, have very effective treatments for incontinence that we didn't, did not used to have. We're fortunate here that we're able to treat uh, all manner of kidney stones. We have uh, a laser and, uh, and all types of equipment and an excellent uh, operating room so that if a patient uh, does not pass a stone uh, and has continuing pain, uh, we can treat the stone effectively. We treat cancers of the, uh, the kidneys, uh, of the linings of the kidneys, of the uh, tissue of the kidneys, the bladder. Uh, we treat cancers of the prostate. We have an excellent uh, cancer therapy department, oncology department with Dr. Geddes, and uh, we work closely with him and his staff. Uh, if a patient needs uh, chemotherapy, for example, uh, in addition to urology. But I think the care we give people here uh, is, is, is perhaps better than some of these big places that have 1,500 beds. And I've always wanted to, to treat people the way I'd want my family treated. And I, I would think most of our patients, the vast majority of patients uh, who come away from our office feel that they have been treated well.